just want to preface this video with I know I'm missing textures. It's because Counter Strike Go is no longer available on Steam, so some of the textures are gone. So yeah. Anyways, enjoy. Also, the Discord. It's it's in the description, by the way. Join. Bob has been planted. I'm OSHA Inspector Bob, and today we're gonna be covering DE underscore Nuke. So to start us off, we're going to spawn at the CT spawn. Uh, we do notice that there is some proper signage on the wall for high voltage. I don't know why there's tires there in front of that forklift, but still not an OSHA violation. Uh, we look at the giant nipples in the sky, um, and well, that door is locked, but it doesn't really have any labeling, so we don't know if it's serious or not. Uh, we do have some well-documented bins, so no docks there. Um, loading zone, realistically, the truck's going to have a ramp, it doesn't need to be handicap accessible. Um, we go from the loading zone, we do notice some little weeds growing through the cracks, but it looks like structural integrity is still good on these silos. We're going to go ahead and make our way into the control room, into the decon room. Uh, everything looks pretty good, nothing's really on the floor, everything's hung up, out of the way, lockers are proper. The only uh, issue I have is this ladder, but it does seem like there was some repairs last minute, so nothing out of the ordinary here, I'm not going to ding it. Uh, we make our way onto the service roof. We do notice the suspicious yellow paint. Um, but here's where we hit our first ding. Ooh, we've got exposed power cables. We go ahead and make our way over to a site where we do have two unattended power reactors. But, I mean, it seems like everyone here left in a hurry. I don't know why. Um, drop in the comments if you think, like, a known global terrorist organization would attack this power plant because I highly doubt that. I think they all got really sick and called out. We do notice the proper signage as well as floodlights just in case there is an emergency at the power plant. Like, you know, it loses power, but how does that happen? How does a power plant run out of power? We go ahead and make our way over to the loading bay. This is kind of a transition between A site and B site where they can load the reactors um, into A site and then transfer them down to B site. Uh, clipping through this garage door because I phased myself into the size of an atom. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. We do have some proper handrails just to make sure no one falls in the way of the track. Um, do not do what I'm doing in the video where I just walk in front of the track, but oh, did you see that box? That box is in the way of the track. That's a Dean. We make our way over to B site. We do have a proper fire extinguisher with signage as well as danger high voltage signage. We do want to watch out for electricity. I mean, this is a power plant. We get on to B site where we see the nuclear reactor. Um, nothing too crazy is going on over here. We do have some properly marked uh, floor panels just warning you that it could fall. Um, you know, because it is moving, you could fall into a giant vat of nuclear water. Um, but like, who's died of nuclear energy? Um, nobody. Uh, I'll wait in the comments for somebody to at least name one person. I have yet to hear about it. Um, you know, nothing bad ever happened in Ukraine in the 80s uh, regarding nuclear power. Um, you know, I, I think what happened was someone was just on TikTok and they didn't hit a button in time, you know, a quick time event. So I don't really think anything bad happened there. I think it was just, you know, TikTok's fault, as the boomers say. Um, some more proper signage. Ooh, there's our third ding, another loose wire. There's violation number four, some more loose wire. Ooh, and then there's violation five, man-sized vent grate in the middle of the walkway. And what is that, another loose wire? We enter the suspiciously man-sized uh, vent, and we see another vent grate. That's OSHA violation number seven. After inspecting some of their uh, operating facilities, you know, nothing of note there. Uh, we do have some gloves in the sink, you know, for cleaning off that radiation. And then uh, I do see these tank tops, and I'm starting to think maybe this place is only run by Italians. Uh, look at those pristine tank tops, and don't tell me that they're making some mean pasta at lunch. Uh, we make our way back upstairs, uh, disregarding the wire in the vent that we already caught. Uh, you know, just some standard old doors that don't open to nothing or signage. Um, some pipes, nothing of, of you know, note. Some pro more proper signage. Um, proper signage there for the waste bin. 
we go ahead and enter garage. This is, I'm assuming, where they store, like, the liquidation equipment. Oh, sorry, I had a stroke there. Um, yep, no, nothing. Uh, remember, kids, lower your, uh, you know, take care of your heart, lower your sodium count, avoid strokes like I just had. Um, by the way, if you're watching this at this point, like, 90% of the viewer retention probably clicked off by now. But, like, it would be funny in the comment section if you just put, like, Phoenix Troop Rise Up. Because then, like, the guys who didn't make it to this part won't know what you're talking about. And, uh, just like the last video, if someone asks, like, why is everyone saying Phoenix Troop Rise Up? Uh, just say El Bozo Watch Vid. And then, um, timestamp on purpose the wrong part. So as we were, uh, you know, going through, uh, I look into the gates of heaven right here. Nothing too crazy here. Um, ooh, violation. We got knocked down chain link fence. I could be a tripping hazard. What are they thinking? Some suspiciously gnome-sized paint over here with a pallet jack. Nothing of note. Um, I mean, really, this part of the facility just kind of seems old and run down like they're going to demolish it anyways. Um, coming back here, nothing really much of note. Uh, ignore that car that hit the fence. I mean, they're not even licensed, so I can't even, like, ding them on that. Um, more gnome size paint on the left. Fire extinguisher, which is always good in case the gnomes try to rise up. Uh, we get to the service ladder. I, I think they put it, like, just covered it in, uh, olive oil because I cannot get up this thing. And this one time, me and my uncle, uh, we wrestled, uh naked in olive oil and i had the same problem i couldn't get a hold of him like he was winning by a large margin you know still struggling here just like i did when my uncle uh naked oil wrestled me uh more loose cable but like i said it's on the the part that's soon to be demoed so not really too concerned with it uh looks like they got some proper hvac shout out to uh you know counter strikes hvac company uh they, they're doing an immaculate job here uh, more loose cables, like I said, part of the demo building. Uh, we're going to ignore that loose cable. I'm blind in my right eye um, because I didn't wear safety glasses uh, when I was in chemistry class and mixed sodium, um, you know, table salt and water. Uh, I'm going to break this vent into a, a suspiciously man-shaped vent, and what would you know? We're all the way back at the bottom uh, in B site. So I think that pretty much sums up, um, you know, the workplace over here at DE Nuke. They were pretty in check. One of my lowest so far, sitting only at eight. Um, and have you ever wondered yourself, like, what are they hiding in, you know, over here? So I, I phased through the wall again by shrinking my atoms. Nothing too crazy. So I decide, you know, I'm kind of getting hot in here. So I go for a swim. And, uh, So I kind of got, you know, upset that there wasn't a lot of violations, so I decided to hit this and see what happened. And how does Nuke stand with OSHA? I give it, um, 8 out of 10 OSHA hard hats. Yippee! Cause you're gonna suck this cock! You're, you're gonna suck this cock good! You're gonna suck this cock clean! Right now! Yes! Yes! Stop looking! Suck my god! 